evaluate limits using algebraic trick. Okay, we have limit x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. So, as observation or inspection, this limit using direct substitution will definitely yield uh, into 0 over 0 since 1 squared minus 1 all over 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 over 0. This is undefined or indeterminate. So in this case, direct substitution fails. So at this very moment, we will be using an algebraic trick. So to solve for the limit of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1, we will be using factoring. Okay, this is equal to limit. What is the factor form of x squared minus 1? This is x minus 1 x plus 1 right all over x minus 1 so we'll be finding the limit of quantity x minus 1 times x plus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 so in this case we can now cancel this one and this one so we have limit of x plus 1 as x approaches to 1. So in this case, we can now substitute x equal to 1 to get the limit. Okay, so we have 1 substitute x to x plus 1. So 1 plus 1, it is equal to 2. So therefore, the limit of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 is equal to 2. Another example, evaluate the limit of x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x plus 2 as x approaches to negative 2. So by inspection, we can easily tell that this limit is in the indeterminate form since direct substitution will definitely yields into 0 over 0. So, we'll be utilizing an algebraic trick to solve this limit. So, to find the limit of x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x plus 2, we simply factor out this expression. So, the limit is What is the factor form of x squared plus 3x plus 2? So by factoring out, we have x plus 2 and x plus 1. Since two numbers with a product of 2 and with a sum of positive 3. So these are 2 and 1. So we have the factor form of x squared plus 3x plus 2 is x plus 2 and x plus 1. So this is all over x plus 2. So at this very moment, we can factor out this expression to simplify or to get the limit. So we have limit as x approaches to negative 2. Cancel out x plus 2 will be cancelled out. So we have now the limit of x plus 1 as x approaches to negative 2. So we can now substitute x equal to negative 2 to get the limit. Okay, so we have negative 2 substitute to x plus 1. So this is equal to negative 1. Another good example is to evaluate the limit of 2 minus square root of x 
all over 4 minus x as x approaches to 4. So by inspection, we can easily tell that this limit is in the indeterminate form. So we can solve this using algebraic trick. So to be specific, we'll be using the so-called rationalizing the numerator, wherein we'll be multiplying this expression by 1. So especially this 1 is the conjugate or the opposite of the numerator. So this will be equal to limit of x or as x approaches to 4 2 minus the square root of x all over 4 minus x so we will be multiplying 1 to this expression but what is what is this 1 so this 1 is just the conjugate of 2 minus the square root of x what is the conjugate it is just simply the opposite of 2 minus the square root of x so we have 2 plus the square root of x all over 2 plus the square root of x. So this is our 1. Okay. So simplifying, we have. Simplifying, we will now have. Multiplying this, we will have 4 minus x. Since 2 squared, which is 4. And this is squared square root of x quantity squared is just x so all over 4 minus x times 2 plus square root of x so now we can now cancel out 4 minus x so we have limit of 1 all over 2 plus square root of x as x approaches to 4 we can substitute now the value of x equal to 4 to this expression to get the limit so by substitution we have 1 all over 2 plus the square root of 4 so this is equal to 1 over 2 plus 2 which is 4 so we have the limit 1 over 4 actually we can also solve this limit using a uh, factoring factoring on the next level factoring which is advanced okay so using factoring the limit of 2 minus the square root of x all over 4 minus x as x approaches to 4 so we know that this is equal to one part, right? Using rationalizing of rationalizing the numerator. So let's see by using factoring if this is really one over four. So this is equal to limit of two minus the square root of x. So four minus x is actually two minus the square root of x. And 2 plus the square root of x, right? Since 2 plus the square root of x, 2 minus the square root of x, we're going to multiply this. We have 4 plus 2 square root of x minus 2 square root of x negative square root of x times positive square root of x so this is minus x right so this is really equal to 4 minus x so it's 1 right so therefore this is correct this is the factor form of 4 minus x so now we can simplify we can now simplify this so we have limit cancel out 2 plus the square root of, or 2 minus the square root of x will be cancelled out. So we have 1 all over 2 plus the square root of x. So the same with using the rationalizing of the numerator. So we can now substitute the value of x equal to 4 to this expression to get the limit. 
So we have 1 over 2 plus square root of 4. So this is really 1 over 4.